So how long are y'all going to put up with this? How long is this going to go on? This this 45, potentially 47 type dude, Donald Trump. How long are y'all going to do this? How far will you go to defend this man? How many times, how many incidents will he give y'all to defend him? How What does he have to do before y'all say, you know what? I can't do it no more. I'm sick of always having to defend him. I bet, I'll bet many of you defend him more times than you do your own children, your own family members, friends, coworkers, classmates, neighbors. I'll bet, I'll bet that you've never had to, def to defend anybody that you did not know personally as much as you have tried and or have had or have been compelled to try to defend Donald Trump. It's ridiculous. It's, it, it really is. It's ridiculous. I'm not a fan. I shouldn't even say that because that's something he would say. So I have a lot of contempt for that. But I just don't understand what y'all see in this, this, this guy. I just, I, I don't get it. A 78 year old man that does nothing but complain about his problems and, and call everything that he doesn't like a hoax. And I, I, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. If you knew him personally, I'll bet you would tell him to cut it out. Cut the bullshit. Yo, stop talking like that. Stop acting like that. I'm sure that you would do it. But because he is who he is and because of his star power, because uh, because he's rich and a lot of people think that people who are richer are smarter or they think that because they have a lot of money or the potential to make a lot of money, they think that they're going to help them make some money or put some money in their pockets. Whatever the case is with this cult of personality, I just don't get it. Now, the thing that happened, the thing that happened on, what was it, the 28th? Yeah, I believe um, uh, October 28th, Sunday, with the comedian, you know, and the other and the other um, uh, opening speakers at the, at the Trump rally at Madison Square Garden. That was one thing. That was one thing. It, it, that was despicable. It was disgusting. It was ridiculous. And it was just another thing that you had to defend. This man turns around a few days later and simulates, simulates giving a blowjob to a microphone. You gotta be simulating giving a blowjob to a microphone. So now you're telling me that it's not even safe or a good idea to bring your kids to a Trump rally because you don't know what he's going to do. He's so unhinged. He's so unpredictable that you don't know if he's going to do something that you're going to have to explain to your kids. So not only do you have to make excuses for him, now you have to make excuses for them. For him. Or should I say you have to make excuses to them for him. If your grandfather, your 78-year-old grandfather, if he did this kind of stuff, if he behaved this way, it will probably be because he had mental decline because, you know, he you know he's getting up there in age or maybe he had a stroke and he lost his, his abilities to be able to think before he speaks. But with this guy, y'all claim that he's the smartest. That he's the best, he's the brightest, he's the most qualified. Y'all running out of excuses. Before it was, well, you know, I know he says a whole lot of crazy things. He does stupid things, but he's best for the economy. Well, there's nothing wrong with the economy right now. Yeah, we, we still have inflation. But compared to the rest of the world, the United States is doing better. And I know y'all don't care about the rest of the world. You only care about your corner of the world. And that's understandable. But the problem is that as the economy is improving he just doesn't have that argument so i guess you have to go back to immigration immigration well let me well all of you immigrants out there i don't care whether you're hispanic latino i don't care if you are from asia africa the caribbean it doesn't matter it doesn't matter he's planning to send all of you home so all of you trump all you Trump supporters are going to have to explain that. And I'm sure that you'll find another way, another way to explain that away. But this guy simulating um, giving a blowjob. 
This guy's simulating giving a blowjob to a microphone. Oh, two weeks ago, what was it two, three weeks ago when he talked about the size of Arnold Palmer's dick? Now he's giving blowjobs to a microphone. I thought he was the manly president. I thought he was the manly candidate. He was the man's man. He's sus. He is. He's straight sus. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he wants to be president anymore. I really don't. I don't think he wants to be president anymore. And I'm going to help him not be president anymore. And hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe 100 million people will try to seal the deal to make sure he doesn't become president anymore after November 5th. Well, it's going to take a while. You know, then, you know, of course, the riots and the, and the violence and the threats of violence because MAGA supporters love, love the threats of violence. Oh, if we don't get what we, what we want, there's going to be problems. Pew, pew. Uh, let's just put it this way. Nobody's scared of y'all. And the same, the same firearms that they sell to you, they sell to everybody else. Yeah, so don't be afraid. Um, I just wanted to drop that. I don't want to take a whole, a whole lot of your time, but I, I just, I, I'm really curious to see how far y'all will go to defend this man because this is getting out of hand. This is too crazy. It's too crazy. Anyway, love is love, man. Check out the Daily Go Getemism show every single day, Monday through Friday, 2 a.m. in the morning. Yes, it's late, 2 a.m. in the morning. Hit the like button, share the show, subscribe to the channel, all that other good stuff. Holla back. And keep defending.